Namaste. Welcome. Is there really a soma rasa, or this element of water coming from the inner brain, and it will make its way down through the backs of the nasal cavity in the throat to nourish the bottom regions of our mortal body? Yes, yeah, there is. Yeah. And in the practice of meditation, especially those ones which we involve the tongue, since the tongue is the main body part of taste, then we could taste the soma. All right. What are these techniques? For example, Kachari Mudra, um, Nabu Kriya, Talabra Kriya. Actually, when you meditate, it happens, even if you don't make use of your tongue. Yeah. It actually happens, even if you do not meditate. Yeah, since the brain nourishes the body. Yeah, so it's one of the functions of our autonomic system. But in the meditation, since we are producing, we're stimulating the inner brain and we produce more of this element, thus the excess yeah, descends down and they become uh, sensations. So when you meditate, um, this is the reason why sometimes you will experience a heightened sense of awareness. Your senses become stronger, not just your taste, but also your smell, uh, hearing, even your eyes, and even the sensations of your skin. You will be feeling pulsations, vibrations. It's one of the side effects of meditation. All right. But generally, in a general circumstance, it's one of the functions of our brain yeah, to nourish the rest of our body. But more than the physiological um, benefit of the soma, a more meaningful essence of this realization for me is the spiritual benefit. The soma is a delicate element. It's so sensitive. Thus, when we finally yeah. allow this to manifest in our practice, yeah, then we value its sanctity. It's actually life. So we value the divinity and the sanctity of life. Yeah. Thus we uh, do not want to inflict pain, not just to our bodies, but also to others. Because what is in me is in you. What happens to you happens to me. And not just us, but everything that dwells energy, everything that breathes. There is a divine force in in every place where there is energy, simple as that. Yeah. So the, the, the description of the Soma in the traditional books is that it is the um, fountain of you. You conquer death when you're able to finally um, experience the Soma. Yeah. It's not literally that we become immortal. We become immortal spiritually. Yeah. We become more compassionate, we become more tolerant, yeah. we become more accepting yeah. that after this mortal existence, yeah, there's another one yeah, to continue our journey on right. until we're able to finally free. Right. And the body, the physical body is just a vehicle for this you know, process to happen. Right. What is um, flowing through our system is the immortal spirit yeah, that after the host dies, yeah, it finds another house in the future. Yeah, that's the immortality of that. So when we're able now to nourish this gift now, yeah, it may happen this lifetime or next lifetime, we build up progressively until such time that we are finally free and liberated. So that is a more meaningful, um, I would say, essence, significance of the Soma for me. Yes, it does affect the health and wellness, really very powerful force. And you know, in relation to that, let me also explain and give some points about our own energy, which is the Agni, and how this relates to the physiological uh, and the spirit, uh, spiritual aspect of the practice. All right. The Agni or the fire is the element we produce when we do our physical services, asanas, breath regulation, even some meditation practices. And the combination of these observances produce the Agni or the fire. And the fire is um, dwelling in the bottom regions of our astral system, the Manipura chakra, you know, particularly in the hips.
you know, the three uh, bottom chakras. And the element of fire, since it has its way of rising, yeah, it goes up. Yeah? And the element of water has its way of going down. So they blend. Yeah? So the Agni blends with the Soma, and together these two forces rise up again. And their favorite place to dwell is in the heart. Right? And in the heart, yeah, it brings about the good qualities of our nature. That's it again. Boils down to the spirituality of it. So in relation to that, since we know that the Soma is a delicate element, we do not want to burn it out by producing too much fire. Thus in the practice, we need to also observe moderation. Thus we do not burn the Soma. Right? Not too much of that intense work. Right? Somehow we need to quiet down, we need to recover, we need to restore. Yeah, to bring the levels of the fire down. On the other hand, if we do not do our share of opening and making the body strong, there's no way for the soma to find its way down. So there will be disconnect. So as practitioners of spiritual of services, energy channeling, yoga, whatever method you're doing, you need to always balance between the physicality of it yeah. and the meditative side of it. And yes, uh, there is really um, a process involved and your teacher will be able to lead you to that path. Right? But holistically, that is the essence of Soma, Agni, Fire, practice, how it affects our body, how it affects our heart, how it affects our spirit. Till the next time. Namaste.